it's a tremendous experience uh, to be able to stand up here and share the news that we have once again broken new ground, uh, this time by performing the nation's first full face transplant. I've called this surgery life-giving, and in Dallas' case, you will understand why. Dallas was injured in November 2008 when his face got too close to high-voltage line while on a job. He sustained devastating injury, leaving him with bare bones instead of face. Thanks to his treating surgeons at Parkland, he survived. And what you see from his pictures before operation is considered the highest end of conventional reconstruction performed by Dr. Jeffrey Janis plastic surgeon at Parkland. This is the reason why we try to push surgical boundaries to restore human appearance and function of the face. When I first saw him after the injury, I, I had no idea what was going to follow. Uh, but he is determined to get well and to move on with his life and to make something of his life. Dallas had told me that Dr. Pomahawk inspired confidence from the very first meeting and that he knew he was in the right place here at the Brigham. And our experience over the past several days has certainly confirmed Dallas's instincts. To Dr. Pomahawk, you believed in Dallas from the beginning and you never wavered from your commitment to make this possible for him. We are forever in your debt. And we're very grateful to the entire team at Brigham and Women's Hospital many of wh whom you see here behind me now. Way to go, team. <laughs> uh, some years ago, we had a patient that uh, had injuries similar to Dallas, and uh, he kept coming and painstakingly undergone stage reconstructions with modest results. And ultimately, at, at one point, we asked him, why are you subjecting yourself to all that? And his answer was, I just want a cap to stop when I'm at the curb. So I think that we have uh, the obligation to help if we can. Dallas always said after the injury that he now had a choice. He could choose to get bitter or he could choose to get better. His choice was to get better. Thank God today he's better. Thank you. <laughs>